Have you ever looked at a bit of coastline on a map and wondered how long the distance is? Whether you are looking at 100 or 10 kilometers of coastline, it could look so similar that without a scale bar, it is impossible for you to guess the distance the map covers. This is just one of many examples of fractals in our world. A fractal is a repetition of a similar shape on different scales. For example, a tree has many branches. Each of these branches has more branches, which branches again right down to the twig on which hangs the leaves. Just this branch of a tree looks similar to the tree as a whole. This is called self-similar. Each segment of the fractal looks similar to the entire structure. Thousands of fractals can be discovered in nature. Fractals may appear to be disorderly, but hidden underneath they have a geometric pattern. In some ways, fractals can be thought of like algorithms, which are a set of processes for completing a task such as creating a structure. When a tree grows, it follows a process. Different trees will grow differently because they follow different instructions or processes. This willow tree has a few large branches that generally grow upwards and many smaller branches. In comparison, this ash tree has branches that grow outward at an angle. This Socotra dragon tree looks particularly like a fractal. The fractals we see in these trees are similar to algorithms. You can also draw your own fractals. Start with a simple shape, like a triangle or a square on a line. Then on each edge, draw an identical shape, but smaller. Keep going, and soon you will have a fractal. Now, there are even more places fractals appear in nature. Clouds are fractals because just one fluffy edge of a cloud looks similar to the entire cloud. Can you tell how big this bit of cloud is? Probably not. Fractals are more obviously found on the leaf of this fern, or this Romanesco broccoli, because each part is self-similar. If you look at rivers on a satellite map, you will see that some rivers also look like fractals as the water gathers and surges towards a lake, sea, or ocean. Rivers not only have a fractal-like pattern, but also have the less mathematical but still interesting collections of meanders. A meander is any sort of bend in a line. It could be these cracks on the ground or this gap in this dried piece of wood. Meanders are very random, but the forces of the natural world make them somewhat predictable and understandable. Meanders in a river form because dirt and plant matter is eroded from one riverbank and pushed up onto another. This can happen very quickly in a flood, but also over a long period of time as the river winds through a landscape. As wood dries, it shrinks at different rates and moisture is released, creating meandering cracks along the surface. Now, you may be wondering, are meanders actually mathematical? They have no pattern, but they do follow a process. They form due to the forces of the natural world, similar to all the math in nature we explored in previous videos in this series. So keep exploring and discovering nature. You are likely to find some more impressive math and grow your understanding of the natural world. Bingo up.